Hello. All right, fellow Gothamites, the moment has arrived. So we've got the first official look at Joker Folia Du. Okay, uh, I've got to be honest. When I first heard about a Joker sequel, I was hesitant. The first film was perfect as a standalone, but then I saw this trailer. It's messed up. It's unexpected, and now I'm totally on board. Let's dive in because there's a lot to unpack here. Let's dive into what we know so far about Joker Folia Du. Uh, that title alone is loaded. It's French, and it translates to shared madness. It's more than a hint. It's a promise that this time... Arthur Fleck won't be dancing alone. The screen splits, showing Arthur in a stark Arkham cell side by side with the reveal of Lady Gaga. Everything about her look screams Harley Quinn, Joker and Harley, an iconic and insanely twisted duo, bound to unleash a level of chaos Gotham has never witnessed. But there's another bombshell. Rumours are swirling that this sequel might be um, a musical. On paper, it sounds bizarre, but imagine it. The chilling beauty of madness expressed through song, Joker's Descent choreographed in unsettling dance numbers. If they can pull it off, it would be unlike anything we've ever seen. Now, this is where things get really fun because Joker thrives on the unexpected. Let's throw some theories against the wall and see what sticks. Could we see Batman? Not the caped crusader we know, but maybe a young, angry Bruce Wayne, his path to vengeance carved by Joker himself. This could be a Batman origin story unlike any we've seen. Raw, brutal, and rooted in the twisted dynamic between these two icons. Imagine seeing classic Batman villains like the Riddler or Two-Face reimagined through the gritty, disturbing lens of the Joker universe. And what about Gotham itself? First film felt like a grimy 70s crime thriller. Will the sequel maintain that vibe? Or will we see a city transformed, warped into a reflection of the Joker's broken psyche? Okay, I know some question the need for a Joker sequel, but here's the thing. This isn't some cookie-cutter comic book adaptation. It's about something deeper, and we haven't even scratched the surface yet. Joaquin Phoenix's performance in the first film was a masterclass, earning him a well-deserved Oscar. Imagine what he could do with even more room to explore the tortured depths of Arthur Fleck. It's not about fan service, it's about diving deeper into a character that both terrifies and fascinates us. The first Joker sparked vital conversations about mental illness, isolation, and how society treats its outcasts. A sequel has the potential to continue that conversation, to challenge us with uncomfortable truths, but it needs to be handled responsibly. But most importantly, Joker is a character of endless reinvention. You know, the comics prove that. This isn't about replicating what's on the page. It's about forging a cinematic Joker unlike anything we've seen. A Joker as terrifying as our own times. Okay, the madness is back, and so is Joaquin Phoenix as Arthur Fleck the Joker. He's taking us even deeper into the abyss this time. And get this, Lady Gaga is joining him as Harley Quinn. That's right, their insane love story is about to explode on screen. Zazie Beetz is back too as Sophie Dumont. She survived Arthur, but will she survive the Joker? And things just got, you know, even more interesting. Brendan Gleeson and Catherine Keener are both in the mix, but their roles are a total mystery. They're big names, so you know this is going to be wild. Plus, there are serious rumours about Jacob Laughlin and, you know, Harry Lordy joining in and maybe some major Arkham action. So there you have it. Hit me up in the comments. Let's get the theories flying. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. This is Trailerverse signing off.